video, we're going to show you how to wire in the new ProTech 55-23055-11 motor and the 51-23053-11 motor. Both motors wire the exact same way. But what you need to know is that when Ream or ProTech uh, made these two motors, they were tired of producing dozens of older, rare OEM motors, and so they consolidated a lot of the older motors into these two models. Some of these models that were consolidated were three wire condenser fan motors and some were four wire condenser fan motors. Ironically enough, the new one is a five wire condenser fan motor, which has led some people to ask uh, how to wire that motor. So we're going to take a quick moment and show you how to replace a three wire condenser fan motor with the new uh, versions, and then a quick moment to look at the four wire motor and how you would hook that one up. So for the three wire replacement, if you have a three wire condenser fan motor and you get one of these two motors to replace yours, you're going to take the black wire and you're going to hook it to the top of your condenser contactor, just where the old wire went, which was probably also a black wire. Then you're going to take the orange wire and you're going to have to have a dual capacitor. All three wire motors operate on a dual capacitor, so you'll have one in the system. And you're going to look for the terminal that is labeled C with the orange wire. You find the C, you put the orange wire on there. Then you take the purple wire and you connect that to the fan terminal on your dual capacitor. That leaves you with just a brown and yellow wire and you're going to take these and basically just cut the ends of them off right here, wire nut them together, tape them up out of the way, and that is your wiring of a for to replace a three wire motor. The one thing you're going to want to make sure is that the rotation is correct when you get done. So turn on the unit, see if the fan rotates the same the correct way. If it doesn't rotate the correct way, you're going to reverse the purple and the brown wires and it will switch the rotation. So, let's reset here, pull these wires off, and we'll show you how to hook it up to replace a four wire condenser fan motor. And a four wire doesn't use a dual capacitor, it uses a single capacitor with two wiring terminals. Uh, so what we're going to do is take our contactor, black wire still goes to the contactor, same spot. But this time we're going to be hooking both the orange and the purple wires to the opposite side here on the top of the contactor. Most contactors have about four wiring terminals per each of the four poles on there. So we'll just take two of those terminals and put an orange and then a purple wire on there. And that just leaves you with two wires left. These wires get kind of jumbled up here. That is the brown and yellow. And on a single capacitor, you can put them on either set of terminals. They are reversible, so it doesn't matter which side you go to. Just get one on each side of the wires. Again, hook up your unit, turn it on. If it rotates the wrong direction, you'll want to change the purple and the brown wires. So that's really all there is to it, to hooking up one of these two newer motors here. So if you need any further help than that, you can drop us an email at info at NorthAmericaHVAC.com. Or if you're between the hours of 4 and 8 Eastern Time, you can click the live chat button at the top of our homepage and we'll be glad to help you out. Thanks and good luck.